So how do you teach whole numbers? I'm Jimmy, and we're here to discuss exactly how to do that. The more interactive you can be with this, the better off you'll get, because whole numbers, as you know, is basically any number whole from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. There's obviously no negatives. So one thing to do is have a series of objects and simply have them count how many there are. In this particular case, with a combination of markers and pins, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Each number I just counted off represents that of a whole number. You can bring objects in if you want to bring food to distinguish between whole numbers versus numbers that are not whole. That's also a great idea. Let's just say you bring uh, pies. If you bring five whole pies, none of which are eaten, and you want to have them count off the number of pies, they're going to give you five whole pies. However, if you bring in another pie that is partially eaten, then that helps them distinguish between the difference of whole numbers versus non-whole numbers because if a pie has eaten, it is not a whole number anymore. So that's a couple of suggestions. How do you teach zero? Take all the pies, take all the markers away, and just ask them how many objects do you see besides that sheet of paper? There's obviously zero. So those are some suggestions. I'm Jimmy, and I hope you have some ideas now on how to teach whole numbers.